to Unforgettable. What can the fans expect from season two? Well, I'll tell you, it's a little bit different. We've taken Carrie and Al and we put them in Manhattan, which is a good, right. good thing right away. But also we're on this task force now. So it's not your traditional homicide and then investigate. Now it might be a kidnapping or a robbery or mm -hmm. a... Um, it, it just, there's a lot more adrenaline in the show now, mm -hmm. um, and we're not just following up on a murder. It's sort of um, high-priority crimes, and also it's a little lighter on its feet, I think. The show, it's a more of the banter, a little more like moonlighting now mm -hmm. between her and I. I like that. Wow. Yeah, it's fun. Yeah. That's fun. You know, you were mentioning that it's lighter between you and Carrie, Poppy Montgomery's character, but is there going to be more romance that we can expect, or is it going to be a... It's more of a tease now, and I don't know the answer. I mean, we're in the middle of shooting it, and I think we'll, there'll be some. But it's a little... Le the first season, we sometimes got a bit gloomy. We would have these fights, and it, it's, that stuff's gone, because now I'm not her boss. We have a boss. So mm -hmm. uh, it's, a little more, it's a little more of a tease. It's a little more of the fun. It's in the air, like, and we're always kind of... Exactly. Yeah. It's a little more of that. And they're exes, right? Yes. So yeah. there's that... Mm. Tension right there. Yes. That tension. Okay. Yes. You fill yes. in the blank yes. before the word tension. Yes. Now, okay, we have to explain to anyone who has has never seen it that um, Poppy Montgomery's character, she has uh, this uncanny ability where she remembers every single event in her life in like excruciating detail. Yes. Um, and in real life, the consultant on that show is actress Marilyn Henner, who really has yeah. this condition. She's been yeah. on TV. Yeah, she's, she's been on it. this show talking about it. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people don't think it's a real, they think it's like that sex addiction, it's not real. <laughs> or, no, <laughs> they, think, they don't think it's a real thing. But I guess Mary Lou Henner did something to make you a believer? It's a real thing. What, I, worked, what she... I met her about 25 years ago. I was doing a show, that her then husband was the executive producer of it. I would remember Mary Lou Henner. She was Mary Lou Henner. At that time, I hadn't done Nip Tuck. I hadn't done anything. I hadn't done Nobody's Fool. So there's no reason why she would remember shaking my hand at a party 25 years ago. So when I saw her, I guess about a year and a half ago when we first started doing the show, I came up to her and I said, I'm going to test you on something. Before I could even get it out of my mouth, she told me what I was wearing. She told me where we were. She remembered more of it than I did. Wow. I have a kind of vague memory. It was a party, and I kind of met Mary Lou Henner. She knew everything. She can tell you, like, the, the day of the week. The day. The day. The yeah. day. Yeah. yeah. Unbelievable. Yeah. Yeah. Try it. But she was saying that there was only, like, a handful of people in the world that actually had this gift. Yeah, I think literally, like, six. Yeah. And what is it called? Is it like... there, were, there were different terms for it. It's funny, on the show, None they're always telling me. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, one was hyperthymesia, one was just, uh, it's just fantastic memory. How about that? Yeah. Yes. Like, yeah. Can you imagine being married to that? No. Right? It'd be like, that time you said and your little lip curled up and you gave me that look. You know, you'd be in trouble. Well, we, and we play on that in the show a little bit. I mean, clearly why they split up in the first place probably had something to do with that. But that's funny because I, I met Mary Lou Henner's husband and I wanted to know what it was like. He's a very quiet guy. Yeah.